Hey guys, it's me again. Today I'm gonna show you guys some After Effects tips to help you improve. Let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. I'm pretty sure we all know how to insert a clip into the timeline simply by dragging and dropping like that. But let's say we want it to be at the beginning. Drag the clip and we place it in this area. Drop it, boom, and we should have this. So now it's at the very beginning. Or let's say we want our clip to start where our playhead is. We simply drag the clip, hold shift, and it should just snap to the playhead. Easy as that. Let's get into the next one. This next one is kind of similar to the last one. It has to deal with our viewport. So if we drag in our clip and let's say we mess up and it looks like this. You're like, what the heck? How do I get it back? Ah, I can't do it. I can't do it. Simply go to your tools bar, click on snapping, click on it, hold shift, and it should snap into place. Or if you don't want to do that, we could click on the footage and we can go to transform, fit to comp height. Now it should be perfect. This next tip is super important and I think everyone should learn it. So let's say if I make a whole bunch of cuts and we have a whole bunch of layers now, a whole bunch of clips, click all of them, but it takes a long time. Click on it, click hold shift, click on all of them. But if we click on one, we can hold control A and boom, it selects all of them, just like so. This also applies to effects as well. So let's say we want to apply this effect onto the rest of our clips. Click on one effect, control A again, control C, and then paste it on to the new clip, control V, just like so. But let's get into the next one. This next one is super, super important as well. I think everyone should also learn this one. We all know what blending modes are, right? You go to the adjustment layer or clip, anything. We can quickly go through the different blending modes by holding shift and clicking either minus or plus at the same time. This means you can scroll through all the blending modes. I think this is a must for every After Effects user. We all use blending modes and it could just be a real, real game changer. All right, let's get to the next one. This next one, it's more of a performance tip. Go to the top section where it says edit, click on it, and then we're gonna go to preferences, go to the drop down, and we're gonna go to media and disk cache. I know this looks super sketchy when it says empty disk cache, but do not worry. Your footage, your edit will not be gone if you do this. Also clean database and cache. By clicking on both of these, it'll take quite a long time, so make sure to do it after you're done editing. Just to be safe, if we click on it and let it load through, it'll make your After Effects run much, much more smoother, and I think everyone should do this. So if I click on the disk cache, we're going to wait to see what happens. And it says, are you sure you want to delete all files? And then it says the amount of gigabytes. Click on this. Okay. I'm going to wait it out. If you guys want to elevate your visuals, I'll leave the link to my website down in the description below. Most of the things are drag and drops. You'll speed up your workflow immensely. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here.